This is hydrogen tap. It's been a long year, or I should say a short year. With the new year coming, I present you with this gift. A lot of the tests I've been conducting, of course, is to find new types of energy. And a lot of people out there are doing the same. There's a lot of things out there that are what I call phantom forces that show up as voltage on our batteries that is just voltage and that is all. No amperage. There are a lot of things out there that fool us into thinking we found the source. What I'm showing you here is one such finding to save everybody a lot of grief, I hope. What we have here is a 9-volt battery. We, used to, we call them transistor batteries, the old transistor radios. Kept them. We're now using them everywhere, obviously. And I'm going to show you as you can see, we're at 855, 8.55 volts. Normally, when you charge a battery, you would think that you're going to uh, get phantom charge out of it if we were trying to charge it with back EMF. But I'm going to show you what happens to a battery such as this one, which is totally unique. Here we've got 855 volts. And what I'm going to do is take this, I'm going to take this battery and run this geared electric motor on it. And I'm going to show you what happens here. If I can do it. Okay. You can hear the motor. We're going to let it run the battery out while you're sitting here thinking that this doesn't really mean anything. I want to tell you I've done this with this battery over five times without recharging it. This is real amperage that you're looking at here. This battery has recharged itself over five times without any external source. You can hear the motor. That's real amperage that we're pulling here. It's turning many gears. I'll stop it for a second. And I'm going to put on an amp meter here. Well, actually, that's not even necessary. Let's just let it go. What I can do is put our meter back on here. Remember, this battery has been recharged five times. Not by a recharger, not by a charger, not by any other battery source. This battery has charged itself five times.
I'm showing you this and hoping with the hopes that I will save a lot of people a lot of time and maybe money. This particular battery cost me a whole week's work. I truly thought I had found a unique way of creating energy with one of my tests. But as it turns out, the battery is recharging itself. Now you can see the draw, the voltage going down. Remember, this was a this battery was drawn completely down. Now, having said that, there is always the possibility that the charge itself is being made by the electric motor. We're seven minutes into this test. And again, I tell you, this battery that we're looking at here has been run on this motor five times. And what you're looking at here is a result of leaving the battery set. And I'm going to show you how that works. Just a moment. Now disconnect the motor. Now watch this. What you're looking at here It's not a phantom charge. I took it back up here. What could be happening is the motor itself, the electric motor, could be charging the battery in some way which we don't know about. We're nine minutes into the test. In just a moment, I'll have to stop the video. Remember, this battery has been charging itself for five consecutive times. 